Okay, we play Wasteland 3. And because I'm kind of at the end of content, we fight Scorpion. And it's a good idea to show you what is Nerd Assault and what you do with this build. So first you take this ability to pack robot. You check where your character needs to stand to hack an robot. Especially good one. And you go to position close to it, it doesn't need to be exactly there. And then you, because you have assault, you have stomper. Because you have stomper, you can shoot for free. Once you shoot for free, which you just did, you hack robot. So that's nerd assault. In like the most, uh, most basic primitive form. No, so reload and shoot for free again, but that's, that's just advanced shit right now. Okay, before I will start killing everybody, I have another um, nerd assault. And here is the same story. But this also have animal whisper, it's animal whisper nerd assault. So I can hack from here, I assume this is the same position. Five, five. Yeah, it's same position, so I take this. I also locked out, so I not only get stomper bonus, so I can stomp this guy. I will not waste my my turn on hacking right now because I need this this AP. Now I hack robot. Okay, now I will focus fire. I have bonus that shot at the same target deals more damage. Uh, or have higher chance to crit or other garbage. Okay, I locked on this reload. So I, I'm supposed to demonstrate you know, nerd assault, but that's pretty much it. You just keep doing this. I mean, I, I have other characters, it's not like it's one character will end me combat, don't worry. I, I could demonstrate something else if you are bored. So, this is the end of the boss. Let's see what else we have to destroy. And that's end of combat. So that's Nerd Assault in action. I hope... Uh, Oh, you probably want to see where you actually load points in this garbage. So, a nerd assault, automatic weapon nerd stuff, animal, combat, shooting, I have combat shooting on him? Seriously? I didn't, I could not guess. <laughs> I was thinking someone else got this, but yeah, combat shooting is great, absolutely. And small arms 7. Okay, so um, major attribute is look. Coordination is also useful, speed is also useful. You need strength for to survive basic big shoot shots. So you will not be on slap on the ground. And let me introduce you to these perks. The most important perk is draw. You also got stomper. Double tap and trigger happy is absolutely useful. As for nerd and the salt, you, you can take nerd, the animal whisper if you want. And the first aid is just free, a free perk for everybody. Uh, it's one of the perks you can take on any character because it's useful. And that's pretty much it. A build basically play itself, as you saw, I wasn't basically. Uh, like Marvel of strategy here. 
And because you have so high uh, luck, you are actually looting for your team. Which is very useful. Uh, you naturally start with different start uh, stats than you end. Yeah, you basically only think uh, excluding charisma, you can start with anything for excluding charisma. Intelligence is overrated by the way, so you might also skip this shit. I, I don't know who, what to tell you about intelligence, basically a big problem of intelligence is that it's not worth it. So, problem with intelligence is that the skill points are flat. So, point dexter literally will get very more in incendiary linkage. Good, it's always. Oh, you cannot save here. Uh, so, you should. As soon as you loot everything, you should literally leave the map. Because you cannot save in the map with uh, Robo Scorpion. You cannot save in like uh, this combat instance of an uniform. I mostly drive around to, uh, to draw the map, I like having full map in luck. Have a good day.